Okay, folks, got a good video for you here. I think that you uh, have been seeing that I've been downloading some stuff here lately uh, exposing the entertainment industry as being Luciferians. And now, uh, there have been a lot of you guys that have came up and you've told me, Jerry, you don't have no right to look into this stuff. You're just supposed to wear a cute little bow tie and go to church our own Sunday and then throw your Bible in the back of the car. And the rest of the time, you're not supposed to be concerned with this stuff. That's the way a lot of you people's mindset is. Well, I beg to differ with you. I don't know where you people have come up with that stuff. Oh, I, yeah, I do too. It's the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard me right, the Vatican. You people have been brainwashed to this idea that you're never supposed to pick up on any of Satan's devices. So uh, with that in mind... I'm going to uh, back up what I'm doing with Scripture in the Bible. I mean, after all, you do believe the Bible, don't you? You do, right? Okay. So let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians, and let's go to uh, chapter 2, verse 8 through 11, and we'll just read it all the way through. Therefore, I urge you, to reaffirm your love for him, talking about Jesus Christ. For to this end I also wrote that I might put you to the test, whether you are obedient in all things. This is Paul talking now, folks. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one of your sakes is in the, that one for your, your sakes is in the presence of Christ lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. In other words, what uh, Paul is saying, folks, and Paul was very uh, affluent in Judaism, which is Kabbalah, which is Druid tree worship, okay? That's what it was before that uh, he became an uh, apostle for Jesus Christ. He was well aware of what Satan's devices was, and he's telling you here, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So you see, I'm backing up what I'm doing here with the Bible. Okay? All right, folks. So if you believe the Bible, there you go. Now, John Todd told you folks that the Illuminati ran... Hollywood, and I know what many of you are going to say. You're going to say, well, Jerry, that's all just a big conspiracy theory. We've heard about all that. It's just a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy theory. Everything's a coincidence and a, conspir a conspiracy theory to you people, isn't it? That's the mindset that the general public has got these days. Everything's just a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy theory. It's just a coincidence. I can show you a hundred things that points to one thing, and it's all just a coincidence, isn't it? So let's see if this is a coincidence. You want to? Now here is the Def Leppard album from back in the 1980s, okay? And you can obviously see the pyramid, which I'll show you a better picture here in a minute of it. But what they done was here, they just slightly offset this eye right here, just a little bit from the center, just enough to throw you people off. And it's thrown many people off because I've heard nobody speak of this. Okay, see the eye? See the pyramid? Look at this. There's the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati. See it? Let's take a look over here. There you see it again. See where the eye is just slightly offset? Should be right in here somewhere if, if you were going to pick up on it, but they offset it just a little bit. See that? Who's running your entertainment industry, folks? Hmm? So let's take a look here at a few more pictures of that. Uh, and by the way, you can go to some of this stuff and, and take a look at whatever. You know, I've got the websites here for you. No need, and I can show you where I got it from. Here's the Pyromania album by Def Leppard. Do you think that uh, they knew back in the 1980s, guys, that 9-11 was going to happen? Take a look at it. This is an album from back in the 1980s, folks. You see it, don't you? 
Yeah, still think that old Osama Bin Laden done 9-11, guys? Yeah. The Zionist Masonic Court did sign 9-11, uh, okay? Telling you the truth. Now, here is one of the uh, retroactive album of Def Leppard. And uh, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, Jerry, I just see a woman that's looking in a mirror there that's, uh, you know, got all her cosmetic products and stuff and so forth there. Folks, is that all you see? I mean, my lamp is full of oil, guys. Like spoke of in Revelations. That's why I see these things. My lamp is full of oil. The question is, is your lamp full of oil? Well, let's see if it is. This is the as above, so below symbology. And if you notice, here is an eye. Here is an eye. Here is the cavity of an, a nasal passage. Okay? Eye, eye, nasal passage. This is the mouth. This is the chin. And this is the skull. This is skull symbology, folks. There's more to this than just a woman looking in the mirror. It's a skull. See that? And that's it's even the faded type of uh, effects that they have to these sort of things. See there? As above, so below. Two arrows running in different directions. As above, so below. The skull. Think that's all just a coincidence? I don't think so. No, I know so. I know who's running the, t the uh, in industry, the, um, uh, the entertainment industry, folks, in, in Hollywood. Yeah, it's the city of angels, all right, but it sure isn't God's angels, okay? Uh, what I'm trying to get at is here, folks, John Todd was right about what he said. 100%, okay? And here's the Adrenalize album, and i got a little website you can go to on that. Electrifying, the claim of the 90s rock, Electrifying. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the satanic agenda of today with all these electronic devices, watching everything you do with the electronic devices, telling you some truth, folks. It also reminds me of Ephesians 2.2, okay? Or in times past, you walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air that now works in the children of disobedience. Fits it perfect, folks. By the way, that's Paul talking again, too. And so, let's see, I think that's it. But anyway, that's a nice little neat video exposing the entertainment industry, isn't it? So I told you about this one. Told you about the school symbology with Def Leppard. Told you about 9-11 back in the 1980s. And we got the slide offset symbology, which there's symbology to Def Leppard and there's a symbology to this hysteria, and there's symbology to this blue stuff too, guys. But if I went through all that, the video would be an hour long. I know what I'm looking at. Some of you might, that's real well-versed at this, you might say, well, Jerry, you're missing a few things. But for the sake of the video, guys, it's got to be this way. And so, uh, you know, there you go, the all-seeing eye. Just slightly offset there. Illuminati runs Hollywood, folks. Some of you may say, well, Jerry, I thought you said the tribe of Dan and the Jews runs Hollywood. Same thing. That's who they are. Okay? Same thing. Same people. Thank you for watching my video.